Hey everyone, Rick here, and it is time to unbox the first of my Calico Critters homes. And with that being said, this one is a Cloverleaf Townhome gift set, which includes the luxury townhome there, as well as a bunch of furniture and a couple critters. So that is very exciting. And I cannot wait to see what's inside, because once I unbox this house, I will then unbox the large manor house. And from then on, it is all room accessories and furnishing the various rooms in the house. So it's all fun and games from this point on. So the interior flaps look like they contain the instructions, which is... A pretty handy idea. Awesome. Downloadable free wallpaper. I will definitely be doing that. And just some tidbits on where to put that extra floor piece there and stairs. And here are some more detailed assembly instructions, including railings, banisters, and batteries. Excellent. There are some power functions in this set, so that is awesome. And here are two of them right here. Two of the light accessory pieces that'll plug in, it looks like, to illuminate our house. A bit of advertising there. And then it looks like just a bunch of pieces. So I'm going to try something a little different. Um, I'm going to put you down. I'll be right back. We'll see what's in this box. All right. So inside of the box, after removing a little cardboard packaging, we have a reversible, really nice lawn piece on one side and interior floor space on the other so that's excellent front or backyard I assume and some floor space this little triangle piece there will help us when we have the house open and want to put a stairway right there and speaking of the stairway that is it here and here are a couple of our critters which I will have to do some research on the box and see just who these two lovely ladies, I'm assuming, happen to be. And then we also have the two sections of house. And this one looks like it also contains the accessory pieces, so that is excellent. Again, one more moment, I'll have all this unwrapped. All right, and we are back. So in the stairway box came the grand staircase itself and several of these, I believe, exterior and maybe also interior a little bit uh, railing pieces. And then we also have the two sections of the house here. That's a lot of nice decking exterior balcony space. I love these double French doors that open up nice and wide and close nicely so they don't pop open into the next room. And, excellently enough, there's where you would put the batteries in for the light fixture. And we have light switches actually on the walls how excellent is that when well, we put the one of the lights there and then another one under there and another switch down here so that is great that is going to make that section of the house look nice and cozy and when the whole thing's closed up it'll have a nice glow to it since these are two separate sections looks like they hinge together right there I'm assuming this piece that came in the stairway and balcony railing pack must go right through there somehow. So we'll take a look at that also. 
And then this also ends up being the front door of the house. Very excellent. And it looks like it is the right size for your critters to enter and exit through. So that is awesome. And the rooms up here themselves look great. Nice and spacious to put your accessories and even some window sill or box space in there to maybe put some of the smaller accessories. So that is what's been unwrapped so far. I'm going to get this house assembled and then we'll look at some of the accessories in just a moment. Okay, folks, this is the entire house assembled. I have to say, just from the exterior, the whole thing has a really nice look to it. I love the almost clay tile shingles and just the look of the exterior siding and windows. And again, these French doors out onto the balcony look just great. And the front door as well. And so what would a house full of figures and furniture be without the ability to open up? Nice and wide. That's as wide as you can open it right there as the exterior of the fireplace will then hit the side of the house there. But that's just fine. That works. And then you can, from there, attach this triangular piece right here on the second floor. And you'll snug it up better than I have here. But that'll give you the general idea. It creates a kind of a pathway there and keeps the figure safe and unable to fall off. And then, of course, you can grab your stairs and, just from the looks of things, perhaps remove this middle balcony piece, middle railing piece, and connect that up in there somehow. In fact, how do they recommend you do that? Looks like it's actually supposed to attach. Well, actually, there's a couple different ways you can do it, apparently. You can attach it right to the side here and leave this on. Hook that up to the second floor. And then have the stairs attach right there so that you can have the figures go up that way or alternatively you can also remove a section of wall from here. So this piece of wall apparently is able to be removed and then you can hook the stairs right there. Either way, however you want to do it. And then you also have the option of when the house is closed actually then removing it looks like maybe the, this piece here and hooking the stairs this way so that you can go up from the outside as well so that works either way. And then of course you have this handy piece which connects right in there to extend your living space on the first floor. Or if you want to consider it part of the outside, you have a nice piece of lawn there that you can do whatever you'd like with as well. So that is the house, as well as I can show it off with one hand from the exterior. Now let's crack open these accessory packs and I will be right back. Okay, and we are back and I have put the camera down so that I could have a little bit better access to these boxes. Now I've just cut the tape on all of them. I have not opened up any of them 
just yet. So we are going to be surprised together. So in this first package here, what do we have? Oh, excellent. And I've made mention of this before. My need for a bed. Several beds, in fact. And it looks like this particular bed has a very fancy floral pattern on the mattress. And I'm not exactly sure how that's applied. It's almost a linen finish. So it's not just painted on the plastic. It's some kind of linen card insert in there. And the bed frame itself is very nice. You know, you got your design on the headboard and some little feet to it. And so with that, we also have what I have to assume is not a glasses cleaning cloth, but in fact, a nice blanket. Although it feels soft enough that you could potentially clean your glasses, perhaps. Now, on one side, it's a little more coarse, and it's much more fluffy up top. So I guess it depends on how your critter fancies their nighttime rest. We can just lay that on there like that, and it makes for a nice bed. So this was all in box number one. Let's check out box number two. And that was not the side that I cut, it's this side. Now in box number two, we have a piece of furniture that is going to be excellent. And I'm not entirely sure if this is going to remain in this house or if I might move it to my manor house because this is a regal looking piano. What would you call that, a baby grand? The bench itself is the most well-sealed piece of Calico Critter's furniture that I've ever come across. And look how adorable that is. And I don't know how well it shows up on camera, but it actually has a really nice pink seat to it with white legs. So that just looks great together. And of course, you have your fold up. So, and it actually says Sylvanian Families, which as I understand is actually the alternative name to Calico Critters in other countries. Of course, I am in the United States. And look at all those ivory, black and white keys there. Okay, so, as regal as that looks, let's move on to the next box. And I get to come across my first Calico Critters sprue of pieces. Now, the miniature modeler in me wants to clip these out using some of my professional modeler's clippers. But apparently you can just twist those out. And all oh, this might end up being my favorite accessory box of all because look at what we have here, folks. It is all of the little tiny kitchen accessories in this pack. We also have a little bread box and a toaster. Oh my goodness, there are actually little slices of individual bread. I'm gonna lose it here. I'm warning you now. I might lose it because this is way too exciting. Yes. I said this in the original collection video that this little kitchen cart set was probably my favorite of the accessory packs with or without having come in a individual pack. And what is this? I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's the base for this blender. So it looks like there's the base. And now here is the top of the blender. 
Now, does it have a lid, or have I thrown that away already? Oh, I almost did. Again, calico critters, it, they could have simply molded this blender and lid as one piece. And even if it came attached to the base, that would have been sufficient. No, it comes off the base, but then the lid comes off as well. So if you wanted to put carrots or whatever else in there to make your health smoothie, you could. So that is just adorable. And then what else do we have? I'm anticipating that I am not yet finished being blown away by accessories. Now this looks bizarre to me. Is that how this goes? I am not familiar with this. I assume this has to be some kind of coffee pot. But I'm not familiar with this kind of setup for a coffee maker. Someone might have to explain that to me. But on the other hand, we have what looks like a pitcher of some kind. Which is great. So I suppose you could put some juice in there, or when you're done making your smoothie, you can pour it into this pitcher to then put the lid on. Or does it go this way? No, I think it does go this way. And pour it into the glasses of everyone who's interested. And then, two of the most exciting pieces for me are this little tiny toaster and this bread box, which by now I shouldn't be shocked, but the bread box opens. Are you kidding me? You can actually put your bread in the bread box. But more than that, you can put your bread in the toaster, which just seems un believably detailed again for it, it, what's the main demographic of calico critters is young children three and up three and up can a three-year-old truly appreciate the fact that you can have little tiny pieces of bread smaller than my pinky nail that you can actually put into the toaster. How nuts is that? That is just excellent. So you can put your bread in the toaster and let it toast and then it'll pop up and you can put it on your plate which it comes with two sectioned plates so if you don't want your peas to touch your chicken, you have sectional plates. Now before the bread would have gone in the toaster, it would have been in the bread box. And that's just excellent. And then we have what I assume are a couple of maybe jars of some delicious something. I assume these are a couple of nice, clear glass glasses. A couple of coffee cups. And I assume a bread basket. So, if you follow the trail of evolution of the bread, you get it from the bread box, you then put it into the toaster and toast it. And it actually feels like you can push it down because when you first put the bread slices in there, they're, they are kind of up. And then you actually can kind of push them down a bit, it feels like. And then they kind of want to pop back up. And then, so once the bread is toasted, you put it into the bread basket to then take over to the kitchen table. And at that point, people will grab them and place them on their plates 
you will more than likely then, oh, I suppose maybe spread some jam on them and then devour them like the hungry critters that you are. Am I missing anything? We also have this spoon in the pack. And that's not all. There are some other kitchen accessories. I mean, goodness, this could have been a sold by itself pack by itself. We have a pot. You're going to be boiling some delicious food in, the, in this big pot. And then we also have some kind of pan. Some kind of maybe electric pan or just a pan that goes on the stove. That is also excellent with its removable lid. Now what are these? Aha! My first run in with some decals, some stickers. We have straw, berry, and come on. You can do better than that. Can't you? Strawberry and orange marmalade. So despite my camera's best efforts, oh, it almost got there. It's not going to, but you can take my word for it. It's strawberry and orange marmalade. There we go. That's a little better. Still really tough to read. Those stickers, though, will go on these little jars so that the critters won't be as confused as I am over what exactly they're eating or putting on their bread. And a couple of placemats for their places at the table to put their silverware and plates upon. The silverware, again, is in a sprue. And I've seen where people are just twisting these out of here. Yeah, that seems to work pretty well. So if you wanted to do, be, you know, use your manners and not just grab a piece of bread, but scoop one out of the basket, you could, I suppose. And then we have a couple of spoons and a couple of forks. I don't know what you're going to spread your jam on the bread with, though. Maybe the bottom of the spoon. Been there, done that. So that is enough with these accessories. I could talk about those all day. The next box, though, contains ooh, some a nice pan and the stove itself. So that's excellent. That is exactly what we want to see. Because we are going to be doing a lot of cooking on this stove. And that'll do very well. You have the oven that opens and closes. And you have the stove top. where you will place your pan, among other things. Second to last box. Here we have exactly what the home needs. It's dining room table and chairs. And it comes with four. Let's just pick this up. It comes with a table and four chairs. And there's actually some neat designs on the top of the table and on the back of the chairs. And there's enough space under there that a chair could actually be pushed in to some degree. Okay, back down. I was just so excited about the dining room set that I had to pick it up. Last box. We have... Looks like a couple colored pencils. Another little chair. And a desk. So here we go. That's excellent. We have a desk. Wouldn't be Calico Critters if you didn't have access to every single little drawer 
in the in the entire thing and then this little accessory bundle that comes with it appears to be if I can get in there somehow some way full of some of the cutest little accessories of all and that ends up being looks like a couple of colored pencils pink and yellow with a little pencil holder perhaps where you could stick those in there and then put them on the desk and then you have your whole setup okay so that is all the accessory packs let's go ahead and put those in the house and i'll be right back okay and we are back with the whole house set up in just a example setting so we have the daughter rabbit whose name escapes me same with mom rabbit i looked all over the box i could not find their names maybe someone can post in the comments i probably missed it somewhere but if you look in through the double doors from the terrace you will see that we have daughter rabbits desk and chair with a couple of pencils there so she can do her homework and just across here is the bedroom looking fairly sparse but i think that that's going to change you then come down the stairs into the dining room where mom is fixing breakfast we have some glasses and toast and a nice cart with some nicely labeled condiments for the bread then through there is the living room where you would come in through the front door. Right now we have the piano set, set up there. Over to the fairly sad looking kitchen where right now all we have is a stove. Not much counter space to do any cooking, but again I believe that's going to change soon as well. We also do have our light fixtures attached to the ceilings. And let's take a look and see how that will look when the light's turned on. There went a piece of bread, but that's okay. Look how nice and bright that light uh, gives. And same with the upstairs. There we go, she can do her homework a whole lot better that way. And these light fixtures are interchangeable with each other, so if you prefer that style, down here and that style up there you can swap them around just fine either way will work and so here I have the stairs set up that way and so that just kind of gives you a nice overall look at how the house can be set up with the pieces that come with it obviously a couple of accessory packs will go a long way to filling out the furnishings of this calico critters home but I think the stuff that comes with it gives you an awesome start. There's a lot of stuff that come with the house that it doesn't seem like you'd be able to get in many of the other accessory packs. So I definitely suggest this. I don't know if they sell this house by itself or if the only way to get it is with the accessory packs. But I'd say, hey, go for the one with the accessory packs if you can because man that comes with a ton of little details and that just looks great so again another option you have if you didn't want this to be a dining room you could also remove the stairs from here and flip this whole thing over and you then have a nice yard space so that the rabbits can do whatever rabbits do in the yard and maybe even consider that an outdoor space and attach this wall unit back up in there as you would and maybe have the stairs coming down this way so again, some other great modular options, and I just think it's fantastic. So 
Um, next video, we will be taking a look at the manor. I cannot wait to unbox that one and start really filling up these homes with pieces. So, as always, thank you for watching, and until next time.